Hey guys, Cindy here. Welcome back. I have my amazing friend and recent graduate of Careers on Vacation, Karen from Bear Necessity Travel. Karen, you just graduated. I have all the confetti ready for you today. How does it feel? It's been a whirlwind and I'm so excited to continue working on my company, Bear Necessity Travel, and still be in the COV community with all the support and all the amazing people. I love that. Tell everybody, if you would, where were you before starting Careers on Vacation? Where are you now? So um, March 2022, I started Bare Necessity Travel. I came from a pretty extensive career as an HR management professional, and I was very burnt out. The pandemic literally just killed my love of HR, but I still had the love of all the logistics and the organization and everything. So we went on a vacation and I was like, I could do this. I could plan people's vacation because everybody comes and asks me questions about what's the best hotel to stay at? What should I do? When should I buy tickets? So I was like, I can do this. You know, in HR, we deal with sensitive information and data all the time. So it's very similar to what we're dealing with when you talk about somebody's travel. It's very personal. You're dealing with something that is going to cost them a lot of money initially up front. And I love to talk with people and I love to work with people on their planning and give them new ideas. It's been really great. So I came from having a strong business background and I started by documenting my value proposition. And my host at the time wasn't providing any training. So I started looking for training. And I found one of your podcasts and I went down a rabbit hole and I listened to podcast after podcast after podcast. And I heard you talk about the Gold Diggers Conference. And I was like, this is where I'm meant to be. And I got in and I talked to Karen LaRocca and it was just like enlightening. I felt like I found my path and the light at the end of the tunnel started shining really brightly. And it has been nothing short of amazing. Yay. I love that. No, it's quite a journey, right? And I think a lot of people think a host is going to be the end all and be all, but what most people don't realize is how structure works in our industry is you're just a contractor. No matter who you work for, if you're working for an agency, they're actually not allowed to provide you training, which makes it so frustrating when you're trying to grow your own business under someone else's, basically their credentials. So it leaves everybody in a tough spot, leaves them in a tough spot, leaves you in a tough spot. So I'm glad you found the podcast. I'm glad you found our program because now you know all the good stuff. What do you feel like have been your biggest wins or celebrations in taking the program? You know, it was something that the mindset coach really made me believe in and believe in myself and my set of strengths. So we talk about going out and getting on social media and doing the various Instagrams and Facebooks and everything. And I decided to focus on LinkedIn. And so my biggest win has been that all of my clients except one have come from LinkedIn. And I have converted all clients except two that I have talked to, which is That's astounding. an amazing it's, close it's amazing. rate. That's fantastic. Yeah. And it's just been amazing because I, I worked with these people. I hired them. Mm -hmm. I worked as their HR. So I have the no like, and now I just need to build the trust with my tra travel knowledge. And it started pouring in and people keep going hey, I need to plan this vacation. And I thought of you. And that's exactly what you want to do is you want to be the person that gets out there in front of them. So they're thinking, oh, I know somebody who could help us out with this. So yeah. I love that. Yeah. And LinkedIn is a lot of people don't know less than 5% of creators are on LinkedIn. So it can be like, um, it can be a gold mine if you know how to leverage it. And that's what learning how to leverage social media. You know, we teach you all the different things in the different programs, but optimizing whichever platform you choose to work on is so important. I think that is a fun one that you just shared. Now you have been yeah. in the unique position of having been behind kind of the curtain of careers on vacation. What, what would you want people to know that maybe you didn't know about working with us? Like, what is it really like to be in that 12 week mastermind format? It is, um, it's overwhelming. You're coming into this organ this new career of yours and you're like, I want to do this, but you don't know how to start. And careers on vacation gives you all the baselines, all the data, 
all the information, the roadmaps to getting started, making sure you have your business license, getting your website and your email and all of that stuff set up. And it's in such a logical order that it just continues to build and build and build and build throughout the 12 week program until you end and you're like, holy moly, I've got marketing planned out. I've got my business operations in place. I've got social media up and running. And now all I need is the people to come in and the confidence that the team at COV gives and provides to us, even as graduates is something I, I can't stress is such a, a thrilling thing to know that I always have this team on my side. Yeah, I would say we do three things really well, curriculum, coaching, and community. And when you're in the program, like the ability to work with real people, like that's what our, that's what I feel like is just lacking in our industry is <clears throat> e-program, e-program, what, you know, and of course you get like your basic curriculum and you get Wanderlust Campus, but the ability to ask Cindy a question or ask our other experts a question, that's where the transformation takes place or when you get to troubleshooting like, how does this work? And I tried this and it's like, oh, you got a setting off here, this off here. It makes such a big difference to get, not just explain the best practices, but see it through to implementation in the real world, which you have done so beautifully with your own business, which is fantastic. Now we touched on mindset a little bit earlier. How did the mindset work impact you in your life or business as you went through the program? So that is something I have never worked on before in the HR they don't ask about your mindset. They don't really care about how well you're doing. They want you to handle employees and you get all of the employees drama, all of their problems. And I had a, I worked at a company that had a major accident. Um, about five years ago, people were airlifted away from the site and nobody ever checked in with me. And one of the things that Brandon taught me is to go back and look and see what is impacting me, see what are the boundaries that I have put up, walls that I have put up, and how do I overcome those? And he has been so instrumental, even now through his um, own page and all of his resources he provides, he's such a resource to make you think differently and change your mindset and realize that that's how you're going to grow and the affirmations that you guys provide as well just helps you understand this is how everything's going to work together. So, yeah, I think that's important. That's funny that you share that HR story because <laughs> and when I was in corporate at the height of my career, I was kind of in this VP role where training and development was always my thing. But I, they're like, yeah, let's let HR report up to Cindy. And I'm like, I don't know anything about HR. But we had a similar <laughs> story that happened that was very tragic, like someone passed away. And, um, it's, it's like going back and revisiting how they handled that situation compared to like the human element of how we process that stuff. Right. And when you talk about mindset yeah. and starting your own business now, it's like going back and tearing down some of that stuff and rebuilding to go, that's how I received that. But how can I do it better in this new thing that I'm doing? And I love the work that Brandon does with our students. He's phenomenal, as you know. And I think, you know, having those tools to take forward, this is a career that can be very isolating because at the end of the day, you have to, like when the doors close or you decide to be a, a TA, it's not like when I started and there's a supervisor down at the end of, of, the, of the row or whatever, or a manager in the office. No, like you are working in a silo by yourself. So understanding kind of, okay, how do I need to pump myself up today? How do I get through this tough thing? Or how do I celebrate this great thing? So I, I think that community piece really is a big thing in our environment, but having those mindset tools to really go, I know how to deal with this. I learned this. It's hard, but I know the steps that I have to do to kind of get through this process, which is good. I love that. So Karen, one more thing I want to ask you, would you recommend careers on vacation, but why would you recommend us? I would hundred percent recommend careers on vacation. And this is for anybody who is new to business say you're a stay at home mom, which is we've met a lot of stay at home moms. And mm -hmm. it's realizing that not just what you've done in your previous career, whether that's a stay at home mom, or being in a business organization, this COV program totally outlines everything you need to get. They have the positivity and the mindset work that helps you get there. And then the community with all of us in there, just to help build everybody up. If you 
think it's going to be very siloed, this community makes it not feel that siloed and you don't feel alone. And I've built some of the best relationships and best friendships. And we're even, a few of us are planning on going to Walt Disney World for food and wine. So it's going to be amazing. I love that. Yeah. And that's the, that's the great thing is like you make friends in class because it's a real environment. It's so good. I love that. Well, guys, and I invite you to visit us at uh, wanderlustceo.com. I'm just going to show you a kind of an inside of Wanderlust campus here. It's going to walk you through all the information. What does it mean to actually get certified as a travel professional? Everything that's included in our 12 week program. As Karen mentioned, it really is step by step, piece by piece in a very logical format where you are learning how to implement best practices, learning how to be a travel agent, but also how to market in today's marketplace. We have everything covered from a curriculum, coaching, and community standpoint. This is a sample of our calendar where you get to show up to those live classes that we were talking about. And of course, this is my team, guys. You get to work with our amazing community of facilitators, trainers to help you on your journey. And we are celebrating most case studies in the entire industry. We're so proud of that because I really feel like the proof is in the pudding, like we show the results. So visit us at careersonvacation.com slash ready now if you want to apply. And we'd love to learn more about your goals so we can get you where Karen is, which is a graduated certified travel agent. So Karen, again, congratulations. Thank you for sharing your amazing story today. Thank you so much for having me. And everybody, just join. You will not regret it one minute. We want you guys to be in the Cool Kids Club too. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you liked that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.